Welcome to MPC Beats. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can use MPC Beats inside Logic Pro X. This means that we can run MPC as a plugin and apply some of the iconic MPC features inside our Logic environment. So let's dive straight in. MPC Beats can run as a plugin inside Logic Pro X. So this allows you to have the feel and groove of MPC directly in your favorite DAW. So let's go to the plus sign and we'll select Software Instrument, and let's go down to AU Instruments, Akai Professional, MPC Beats. So now, we press Create, and you'll see MPC Beats in your instrument channel. So let's open this up, and you can now see MPC Beats is running as a plugin inside Logic. So this gives us access to samples, expansion packs, different types of grooves that we can just play directly inside Logic. Now we can go to any of our expansions, go down to some drum kits, and pull the drum kit straight onto MPC. And this is all synchronized to Logic Pro's tempo. If we want some lo-fi kits, we can preview the kits in the plugin and decide what types of sounds and drums we want to use on our track. So now when we press play on Logic, we can now look at our drum parts inside MPC and we are locked to the tempo. Now the great thing about this is now we can take advantage of Logic's plugins or third-party instruments such as Serum and we can add these in Logic's environment whilst we've got the feeling groove of MPC. So now I'm recording a lead line directly in Logic. Then we can jump to another track. Let's go to another instance of Serum. Now what we can also do with MPC Beats is render out the audio straight into Logic. So let's open up MPC Beats as a plugin and we've got our beat here. Now we've got an export mode for MIDI and audio. So if I click export audio, I can now drag this file straight onto Logic's timeline and now I have my MPC beat as an audio file. So this means I can now go to another sequence or another track and add even more beats over the top in the same environment using the same plugin. So now we can play our track back and add more drums over the top. So let's just draw these ones in going to draw in some extra claps. Let's take our tool and let's draw in some new hats. And again, we can now go to export audio and we can now commit this as an audio track in Logic. And this is great, because if you want to send the project off to a mix engineer, you'll have all of your parts as audio. 